Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page just like this using Aweber. And you can have this landing page shown up on your website or in any email campaigns that you'll be sending out or even on social media platforms. And I'll also show you exactly how you can customize how your link will be appearing on social media icons including a thumbnail a custom name for the opt-in form and then an introduction text right here now this will appear on all social media platforms where your landing page will be shared the first thing you have to do of course you have to be logged into a Weber and you'll simply just come over here to landing pages and then you'll simply just come and create a new landing page and then uh, the landing page we are going to create is going to be, of course, an opt-in form. So we are going to choose this template. And uh, when we come over here, uh, we are going to make a couple of changes. Now, the first thing we are going to do is, of course, change this. We don't want to use this logo. We are going to delete this and we are going to use basically uh, an element of text. So we simply drag our element text over there or our text element and we're going to tell people to join my newsletter okay i'll select it center it and then give it a bigger font size maybe of 36 i'll bold this font and i'm good to go i'm done with that section next what i'm going to do is now come over here to this uh, row i'm going to delete the whole row because i don't need it and i'm going to basically add here another section and this is going to be the video element so i'll simply just drag over here and boom add a video element and i'm simply going to come here to my channel and i'm going to get a video that i want to embed on my opt-in form or landing page so i simply paste my video link over there and yes it will show up now this can be anything else you may have maybe an image or it might be a video on another platform so you basically just add your video url from youtube or either on vimeo now, once you are done with that, we're now going to go to the last section of our opt-in form. We are going to delete this whole column. So I'll come just over here, select that, and I'll say delete the column, and I'll just remain with this. I'm going to delete all these rows so that we only remain with one row. And what I'm going to do is to pad this form over here to appear just like this. You see how this form looks like? It is well padded, top, bottom, and all the sides. So I'm going to select the opt-in form. So by selecting the opt-in form, I'm going to give the top to be 50, bottom to be 50 pixels, and right is going to be 40, and left will be 40 pixels. And that's how I achieve that. I'm going to change the background color for the button to this color, then I'll apply, and I can even change the text over here from sign up to opt-in. So I'll simply just come over here to subscribe. Okay, I can even uh, increase on the font size of that something bigger and uh, down here we have social share icons when I select over here I can edit I can add for example if I don't want to link to YouTube or to LinkedIn I can simply just delete that or for YouTube I can simply just embed my channel URL just come over here youtube.com just come add my channel URL over there I'll say done I don't want to link to Instagram but I want to link to Twitter so I can simply just say edit then forward slash my username go take ug uh done facebook go take ug done now uh, the other thing i can uh, use probably maybe uh smaller or larger icons so i simply want uh, them to stay very small and then i can align them on the left on the right or basically in the center i can either choose to use a background that looks something of that sort or to use the icon style like that or it to be boxed i can change the color theme to the brand or basically them to be white let me just switch them to be to the brand now uh, what we need to do at the moment is of course we want to see how this looks like now so we'll have to preview and uh, this looks okay we have our call to action a video and then someone here is able to subscribe one thing i have to mention is that when someone subscribes on this form they will be added to your aweber email list now let's see how uh, this looks like on a mobile device this looks okay the video is over there opt-in form and the button to subscribe okay now that looks pretty fine now when we get back over here to our form 
let's go to the editor we want that we can track this form and the submissions so what we're going to do is click here on the form and we can either uh, one show the privacy policy over here by adding you know the privacy policy link or something of that sort or if you don't want to do that you can simply disable that and then the form submission it can be a simple thank you page uh, let's see how this looks like preview of the thank you page when someone subscribes you are almost done activate your subscription then people will have actually to just click on the link that they receive in their email and uh, we can make this to open up in a new window after them submitting on this form or if they already subscribed then you'll also see this page or after they have subscribed this is what they'll see you can customize this to what you want uh, by creating a specific page or a specific thank you page and you will have them redirected straight over there now once we are done with that we can now go right to the page settings for example we can add a background photo we don't want to do that at the moment and then there is something called a background color that you can use or you can change for this form we are not going to go into that there is a tab that says settings and here we can set the page title that is the title that is going to be displayed over here on social platforms like this over here so when we come over here say join my news later it can be something different uh, then the page description uh, here you can say subscribe for amazing tutorials and blog posts if you want to create a digital presence okay and then the social share image this is the image that appears when you share on social platforms just like this over here i will basically use the same photo or a similar one something of that sort it can be a different thumbnail image depending on how you want it to be okay and now it's uploading the image next that we have to do is that we have to enable tracking in our google analytics and also uh, track all the leads that are coming from facebook or people who visit this landing page from facebook so we are going to basically add our google analytics code uh, so i have my analytics code over here for facebook and google this is the google analytics code and for facebook i'll just pick it over right here and then you paste it over there then you can simply now preview again your landing page if everything looks fine you can also preview it on the mobile and then we can get back to the editor we can say save and exit now this means that we will have created our landing page now here is a list of all our landing pages but one thing i realize is that we never gave our landing page a name in aweber so i'm going to click back here on our landing page and i'm going to simply just come up here and then give our landing page a name so a list building on social maybe i'm going to only share this uh landing page on social media so now i've saved the name of my landing page i can simply save and exit now we come back here it will show the name of our landing page now what you have to do to make this landing page live on the internet you simply just say publish now when you publish you'll have this special link over here now this is the link that someone or the link you'll be sharing on all social media platforms so that people can access your landing page now when i click on that link boom it's opened up over right here so uh join my newsletter there is a video over here that maybe describes whatever is uh, or whatever you're offering on your channel or on your blog post or the content you'll be sharing with the people who will subscribe and then you have the form over here that people can use to fill in their name and email and then they'll finally subscribe to your list uh, now when i grab over here this url or by coming over here to the list of landing pages i can just simply copy this url and when i come over here to the social media platforms let me say like facebook you create a new post and then you paste that link that means that this link will fetch up your uh, newsletter and then the description of your newsletter and also the thumbnail now when i click on post this is how it will look like at the moment so it has joined my newsletter the thumbnail and then right here the description this is the one before and this is the one we have just done or at the moment so in a nutshell that's how you can build or create a responsive landing page using aweber only once you have an aweber account 
And in case you don't have an Aweber account, you can start for free. I'm going to leave a link right down in the description box below so that you can easily get started. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it brought you value. In case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good time and goodbye.